Hey guys, how's it going? Um, sorry about the hair. I just got out of the shower so it's all messy and gross and blah. Um, anyway, I've had this thing on my mind recently and um, I guess I just need to get it out. I'm a little bit nervous about it because I know that this is going to be directly about a lot of the people who subscribe to me and you know that's fine I mean a lot of people might be upset with what I'm going to say and a lot of people are probably going to agree but I think that this is a topic that I have not approached yet because there's so many different viewpoints on this and it's so I don't know it's such a big all-encompassing issue that has so many different aspects because it all varies from person to person. But basically I, I wanted to talk today about tranny chasers. And I know that there are a lot of you out there. I see you. You're watching me right now. I mean, I, I look at the people who subscribe to me. I get a little email saying so-and-so subscribe to your blog. I'll go and check it out. And you're a 45-year-old male from Sweden with no photos and no videos and you, you know, only subscribe to trannies. I see you. I know that you're a tranny chaser. So that's fine. You can watch me, whatever. You know, I'm all about getting the word out there that, you know, we're just normal people. And, you know, even if I'm preaching to the choir or, you know, talking to tranny chasers, at least I'm trying. I don't know. I know you guys are out there, so listen close. God, where to begin? Um, I guess I'm going to start with how I define the tranny chaser, which is going to be completely different than a lot of you guys. And, you know, this is just my opinion. These aren't facts. These aren't, you know, set in stone or whatever. These are just my opinions right now. But to me, a tranny chaser is someone who specifically seeks out a relationship with someone who is a transsexual. So, you know, they're like, oh, I'm a straight guy, but I love trannies. Well, if you're going out of your way to pursue a tranny because you like trannies, to me, you're a tranny chaser. I don't care if you're a guy. I don't care if you're a girl. To me, you're a tranny chaser. That's all it encompasses. And here's my big problem with tr tranny chasers. Basically, I want somebody to fall in love with me, for who I am, for my personality, because we get along, because we have the same taste in things, because they think I'm pretty. I don't want to date somebody who's going to fall in love with me because of my penis. Because to me, my penis is temporary. It's going away. Like, it's just a birth defect, basically. You know, it's not supposed to be there. I'm a girl. Now, girls don't have penises. So if I'm, you know, dating somebody, and they're dating me specifically because I have a penis and because they like that, that's not going to make me happy. Recently, I was talking to a, a guy um, who was a tranny chaser, and we had got onto the, conver the topic of gender reassignment surgery and also on the topic of hormone replacement therapy it was all in the same big package but his views are that you know trannies shouldn't be doing hormone replacement therapy because it's not natural and that no one should ever do the surgery because they should be comfortable with their body the way it is and there's not enough research done and whoever gets the surgery, like, 90% of the girls regret it and hate it and can't use it and it's deformed. That's crazy. That contradicts everything I have ever heard. And he's like, oh, well, they're just lying. You know, they got the surgery. Why would they tell you that it doesn't work, you know? Oh, because maybe they don't want someone else to go through the same shit they went through? I don't know. Maybe. The other thing is, if you're telling me that I should be happy with my body, then why the hell should I have even transitioned in the first place? 
Why should I have gotten these great tips, you know? Why should I have, you know, gone through all this stuff to, you know, feminize my body and present this female image if I'm just supposed to be happy with who I am? You know? I'm not happy as a guy. I was not happy as a guy. It wasn't me on the inside. I'm not a boy. So I changed that. I put myself through hell to change that. I threw my whole life out of order. I lost my, all my friends. I have like one to two friends that I still talk with from that time in my life. I'm still having issues with my family and it's been almost three years. It's harder for me to find a job because I'm a tranny. I put myself through all this to become a woman, so why stop here? Why say, oh, I've made it so far, I look like a girl from the outside but I still have a penis? To me, Gender reassignment surgery and hormone replacement therapy, they're just steps to me to becoming the person that I feel I am inside. Now, to me, I'm a girl, and girls don't have penises. I've said that before. Girls don't have penises. Ah. Ah, okay. Rant off. All emotion and craziness and ranting aside, here's the facts. Trannies are people too, and we have feelings, and we want to be loved, and we you know, want to be taken care of, just like any other girl. We want someone who's going to fall in love with us, for our personality, and for who we are. You know, because we're strong, because we're independent, because because we look nice, you know, all sorts of reasons. We want someone to fall in love with me, for me, not for my penis. Because if you're looking for love for my penis, I'm not interested. To me, that's not treating me like a normal girl, and that's not treating me the way I want to be treated, because to me, I'm just a girl, and I want to be treated as a girl, not a tranny. Like, I'm proud. I am a proud fucking tranny. I get out here on YouTube and I'm like, yay, yay, tran, tranny power, yay, but at the same time, that's not where I want to be in my life. I want to be a girl and I'm just in this state of flux right now in between genders and I hate it. I hate not being able to go to the beach because I'm embarrassed that somebody might see a bulge in my swimsuit. I'm sick and tired of my driver's license saying male. I hate being stuck in between genders and if somebody's gonna look for a relationship with me because I'm there, because I'm stuck in between two genders, then fuck you. So what do you guys think? Am I wrong? I mean, I know I'm not the only girl out there who thinks like this, but at the same time, there are so many different opinions out there, and every girl is unique. Maybe some girls like somebody who's going to love them for being trans. I mean, a lot of people don't want the surgery, and I totally understand that, and I totally support that. So why not find somebody who's going to accept you as, as a transsexual? It's not for me. This is my personal opinion. So I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to get some video responses from, you know, trannies and their opinions and tranny chasers and their opinions. Like, tell me what you think. I'm going to be around. I'm going to be commenting. I'm going to be really listening to what you guys have to say. Because to me, I mean, this is an issue that affects me personally and it affects all trannies everywhere. I don't know. Help me out here. See you guys. That I'm, that they're, uh, that I'm, uh, penis worship. <laughs> it's, maybe that's a really horrible way to put it. I think it is. I think that's a really bad way to put it. You got it all wrong. You're a total fuck. I know I'm a total fuck. I'm completely speechless. <laughs> um, wow. Hello. My name is Erin and I'm completely speechless. <laughs>